say unique, although I suppose in the grand theme of scheme of things she was fairly average for a septum. The woman wielded fear like a cleaver. What did she wield a cleaver and make some people afraid? Oh, but she taught her son well. But they just learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. So the key here is, you, at first you think, oh, I'm supposed to hit these things, but no, that's not the case. You, you want to hit these things, and then now he's got to, now they're fighting him. And with the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of, and we're that much closer to home. So that was the first, uh, third, and it wasn't really that difficult. This one is probably the easiest of the three puzzles. Uh, again, I've done it so many times that I feel like <laughs> like it's a book I've read many, many times. Which I do do. If it's a book I love, I reread books. I used to drive my mother insane. She'd be like, Allison, you have so many books, why do you reread them? I'm like, I like it. Okay, Shogar says you've been down, headed down the path of dreams, but he suffers from night terrors. Oh. All you need to do is find something to wake poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. So here he is. He's asleep. Can we just poof him? Nope. Uh oh, uh oh, there's a wolf. And I turned it into a goat. Can I talk to him? No, wait, this is a surprise. Uh oh. And now I talk to little Pelagius. Hello, little Pelagius. Okay, now I'm going to try to hit him uh, again and I assume that that will send the next thing. Oh, it's a craven. Oh, they really creep me out. Okay, and this is now a sultry maiden. Hello. Hey, girl. What's up? <laughs> Alright, shall I try to wake him a third time? <gasps> oh, dear. A flame angel knock. I turned the flame angel knock into nothing. Oh look, they're making like a little fire over here. That's actually kind of cute. Okay, here we go again. Oh, a dragon priest. Whoa. Uh oh, he, he evaded me. Can you? Oh my gosh. Surely the 
missing. I'm gonna turn the volume down. It's a little... I had turned it up uh, before I started and then it was too quiet and I was like enjoying the music. Excuse me, I... all the code is trying to help. That's actually really cute. Just the third. Yes. On his deathbed, he 
forbade death, and then he broke the oath, his own law, surely. Is he not gonna, like, he didn't say anything about it. Hey, hey Shogi, let's pose this back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply bothers the mind, boggles the mind, but I want to stand on your table. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. my luggage. That scared me a little bit. Oh, there he is. Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? Oh, bye, Dervinin. As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the wabajack as a symbol of my... Oh, just take it. <laughs> Take care of yourself now, and if you ever find yourself up in New Shoth, do f look me up. We can share a, share a strawberry tort. That sounds really good. He has a, a town named after him. That's what it sounds like, at least. And then it's, we're gone. It just takes us away, and we find ourselves back in the same hallway where we were. And it's a dead end, if I do believe. I don't think that I can can't punch these balls down. Oh. It's so dark down here. Kinda looks like someone was living down here, doesn't it? Ooh. It's a lot of wine. Oh, it's hanging. I was like, is that floating in the sky? I was a little frightened, to be honest. This is such a pretty hallway. And of course, Lydia's with us, so from Lydia's point of view, I just vanished. Actually, I don't know, did any time pass while I was gone, you know? Or did she simply... Didn't, like, no, literally nothing happened. And all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, we can go now, I'm done. <laughs> and she's like, wait, why did we even come down here? How do I get out? Here, oh here. It's really dark, and I've got this big bright light right here. It's kind of blinding me a little bit. So, alright, well, that was the Mind of Madness quest. So now I have the Wabajack on me, and I can use it. Uh, shall we? Shall we test out the Wabajack? I think we should. I think let's test it out. So, it basically, if you read what it says, it says it blasts from Wabajack with an unpredictable effect. So, it's kind of fun. You never know what it's going to do. I'm going to quick save because, like, what if this guy gets mad at me? Yeah, okay. Well, that wasn't super <laughs> unpredictable. It just injured him, and now I have a bounty. So, I'm not going to do that. Let's find uh, an, a chicken or something. Okay, it's incredibly foggy and I cannot see. Uh, I might have to leave the city. Excuse me. Hello, small child. Nah, I want I wanted the kid with the wabba check. That's a bit extreme. Solitude will always be one of, if not my favorite city, because it feels the most like what I want the Skyrim cities to be, but a lot of them are so small that uh, they don't feel very lifted. They don't feel very lifelike. Uh, especially the ones like Riverwood, where there's literally just like three houses, and I'm like, how yeah, is this an entire settlement? It's... It's got more shops than houses, so I usually get mods to make them feel a little more li lifted, and they're a little more expanded. Okay. I was gonna... I don't want to hit a horse, but there are some chickens down here. I 
also feel bad about eating the chicken. Oh no, I am so sorry. Can I eat it again and revive it?
one from a very weird trip into the mind 